All right. Hello, everyone. As Nadia mentioned, I'm Amelia, and I'm a product designer for Monitor Health. Um, I'm going to give the second half of the updates for Monitor, which is a super quick walkthrough of the improvements we're making to the incident management workflow. So during Monitor's last UX showcase, I walked through our process for designing the new alert workflow. And since we spoke last time, alerts have now officially been introduced to GitLab. And what you're seeing on the screen now is uh, essentially what's been built. And the last pieces were released at the end of 13.2. So this is all live and out in the wild. Uh, so now that we have alerts, we need to think about how they fit into the larger incident management workflow. So I'll just kind of walk through what that workflow is right now. Um, people point their existing monitoring tools at GitLab. We display the alerts within our interface. A person reviews the alert, and if it's serious enough, they'll escalate the alert into an incident. Uh, right now, this is done by creating an issue. So if the alert needs to be investigated further, they'll create a GitLab issue for it. Um, essentially, an issue for an incident is currently a totally standard issue with an incident label. Uh, over many months, we've been discussing whether or not issues are the right fit for incidents. Are they providing people with the relevant context that they need to resolve incidents, which are they're really very in inherently stressful and it's a very time sensitive effort. So realistically, the process of creating an entirely new entity to replace issues was going to be tricky to do in any reasonable time frame. But we started asking ourselves, can issues be adapted to better suit incidents? In issues right now, you kind of get what you get in terms of content. It can't really be customized in any meaningful way for particular use cases. But what if they couldn't be customized? If, they, if that was possible, we could start asking different questions like, is all of the content we're seeing here necessary? Is there anything that we could remove? Is there anything that needs to be added to issues to better help people who are trying to more quickly resolve incidents? Um, these conversations happening over many months and in collaboration with the plan team, and in particular with Holly, who was a huge help with this process, um, have resulted in the first issue type for incidents. So an issue type, as you can see, looks a lot like an issue, um, but its content will be pruned a bit to display only the most relevant details uh, for an incident. The longer term vision is that issue types will be customizable by end users to better serve their workflows. So what's different? Um, the very exciting thing for us is customizable sidebars. Um, at, in the process of creating incident issue types, we'll be creating widgets for sidebar items so that people can choose which are the most relevant to display. Um, for instance, we'll be introducing a new links sidebar item and the ability to publish um, incident to the status page. Uh, you'll also notice a tab structure, which is similar to the MR page. Uh, this will allow us to surface alert details, metrics, logs, and run books directly within the incident. And the final new detail is the ability to add other related content beyond just issues. So if people want to link, for example, multiple alerts to the same incident because they're all part of the same problem, they can now do that. So building an entirely new issue type is going to be a ton of work that will take a while and um, we're starting on some of the back end pieces in 13.3. I expect it will take us several milestones to get to the point where we're seeing changes in the UI, but this is an exciting step forward for us and likely for other teams as well, because it's a step towards more customizable issues, which is something we've been talking about for ages um, and has been a requested feature for a really long time. So it's exciting for us and for hopefully other people too. Um, and that's all we had to share for today at least all the monitor updates. Um, thanks for listening and as Nadia mentioned, please feel free to send us a message um, if you have any questions. Thanks so much for your time. Does anyone have any questions since we have a few minutes?